Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Under Rise! Today, this man wishes to talk with us! He basically just wants to give us more great wire bugs. Kinda wish I had noticed that sooner, because he's probably been wanting to do that for a while. I actually want to take a poke into here. I because yes, I figured this was ha this was already a thing. Oh, and uh, Buddy Expert also has some for us. We're taking buddies on hunts, he gives us a uh, Lagani apple. It's like an acorn to me, but you know. We are finally ready for the most magnificent trading you and I shall ever undertake. We will borrow the submarine, which you may send a buddy off to fire off markets, choosing items for you. You also purchase wares from the Argosy, they intend to keep things stocked, that you spend Kamora points. It's really handy. Now we actually have a use for more buddies, so I guess we are going to be talking to Iori. <laughs> Buddy, these are coming. We're Yamagi's supplier, got held up at Shrine Ruins, you help them out? Well, I'm not sure why, but since a lot more monsters have been acting really weird around the ruins. The monsters get fidgety when the rampage nears, but it's, it's strange that they'd all congregate at the same spot. Well, some merchant mentioned a strange presence, and now the village is talking about ghosts. Hmm. When the Seeker, K9, and Feline heard about it, they ran off to the ruins to hunt down the presence. Now I hear Anknasnam is down there. Please take care of it, and you search for the buddies. Nice talking to you. I will do that when I get to it. I want to hire some buddies, at least a buddy. Um, I'm looking for, hopefully, a level 5! Yes! Robo! I will not rename Robo. Whoop, I should have showed that cutscene. I apologize. I'll hire another buddy so you can see the cutscene. I'll hire this one. That's a good pick. Hey! It's a pretty short little cutscene. I should actually hire a few, but I don't really have the money for it Happy currently, hunting. so. Now we can come to uh Hello, good hunter. Radin. I completely blanked on her name. We can order items. Basically, we come in here, we select a spot, we hit ready, we select a thing, we select Robo. And now we can send him out to find us any of these items. So you know how I mentioned that flash bugs were harder to come by, but not the hardest? Not flash bugs with thunder bugs? Yeah. Ah. Uh, We go. Now we come in here to buddy bargaining. This is why I needed level five, is because casual bargaining requires that. Now we could use the uh, the little apple thing we just got, and that will basically increase the amount of times that they can obtain items. It's not necessary. Let's just go with that. We can exchange for items, which basically is well, you spend points, you get stuff. You can buy nets from her. So if you really want to just use pitfall traps, you can literally buy everything you need to make them. Points aren't the hardest to come by, so go wild. I'm not going to because I don't, I, I just don't like pitfall traps. Um, those are rare finds, which are usually limited items you can buy that you can't normally buy. Here is Sonic Bombs. I don't really want them. Special goods, there's none, and you can chit chat with her. Rampage, to think, all, to think that this land has been plagued by such a calamity. Yeah. Must have been fate that I came upon this place. Very well, I shall base my operations here for now. If you and your village intend to confront these monsters, then my wares will no doubt be used to you. Which is really sweet that she takes Kimura points instead of money. 
So basically, she takes local currency instead of money she could actually use somewhere else. Because she wants to help. It's really sweet of her. I don't think this is open to us yet, though. Uh... The mercenaries. Is this a thing yet? Yeah, they're still ready themselves. Okay. And we can't do any. Can we do something here? Oh, yeah. We can't do anything here yet. The seal is not yet broken. Now, you would think, because we just got asked to take care of the Anknostom, that we would do that. But we have other two-star quests left to do, so he can wait. Quest is ready to go. And to stop. Nah, today is not hunting that. Make sure to check the special quest as well. Have a look. Today, we'll actually do... We'll do this one. We'll clear out these lower quests. And I'll do one more here with the hammer. Because I'm actually kind of liking it, honestly. I was not expecting to like the hammer. In the past, anytime I've tried using the hammer, I sucked so badly with it. So I was not expecting to like using it. Um, and here we are once again. Here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. I won't actually try to sing. I will murder you guys' ears if I do that. I cannot sing. Robotic can sing, though. She sings really tricky good. May or may not have multiple times considered a way of uh, trying to get her to like sing on stream or something. But I don't want her to like be too nervous or, you know. I really want people to experience her singing, though. It's so freaking good. I'm just talking about Robotic at the moment. I, I, yeah. I talk about her a lot. So that, that is fair. Doing great. Well, that, that popo is getting away. So it's about to phase out of existence. Hey, a popo tongue. You have two tongues? No. You know, I may as well show this off because this is something I actually really like. It's a neat little touch. Too bad, you know, well done steak is pretty much irrelevant. Let's hope I don't screw this up. So tasty. They brought back the so tasty. <laughs> For anyone that's played a Monster Hunter game before World, every time you cooked a well done steak perfectly, you heard so tasty. Now that one isn't as enthusiastic as the old So Tasty, but it's still, like, that's just cool. I love that they brought that back. It's so unnecessary, but I kind of love it. Especially where well done steaks are not, not as helpful as they once were, because, well, rations used to be a thing you could only really get a limited supply of. You couldn't really enter a hunt with ten of them. Now you can just have 10 all the time. 10 plus your quest given ones. So, you know, 13 in our case. We have no need to use a well done steak ever. Yeah, this quest takes a tiny amount of time purely just because of, uh, you're probably only going to get to kill one popo per group of popos. So. Thankfully, these aren't Mr. Popo. Because that would go very badly for us the moment we tried to attack him. So, you know. Because, fun fact, that isn't exactly just a Team 4 Star joke. It's basically been canonized to a degree that Mr. Popo is, like, the most powerful entity in that universe. He's just a pacifist and refuses to fight. Darn it, Lagambi, you scared them off. Okay. 
The Team Four Star joke, though, is kind of funnier of him just not wanting to fight because he can't be bothered. Uh... Uh, and something's scaring these ones away. God damn it. I might still be able to get that one. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, maybe I can get the bugs. Yes! Bugs! That's a good start. I don't know why the Popos ran away. There was nothing here aggressive towards them, but they ran away. I suppose I could go check on the, uh, the snail. See if it's still there. Because you might notice there's still the dots on the map, but that's because we killed some there and their bodies are still on the ground. Bags. Actually, where it's daytime, I wonder if it will actually still be there. I am curious. Oh, the popos are back. Of course they are. Well, I'm gonna check on it anyway. Oh, I can. That's cool. Okay, it is not still here. Hmm. I have no idea what that was about. He showed up, said hi, hung around for a quest, and then left. I'm not gonna bother with that last little bit of grass. Yeah, there's a jewel lily. I'll. I'll go around placing wire bugs again at some point. It's not my top priority though. Can I like... Uh, I can't really push you guys together. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one's dead. Yes! I got two of them. Okay. I want to be sure I'm getting a Popo Tongue, rather than having to wait for some to respawn. Because Jumbo Bone, Popo Tongue, okay. Well, still may as well try to harvest this other one. It's kind of funny how the game looks better in my recording than it does on my TV. <laughs> yeah, see, right there. Okay, no, I still got a Popo Talk. Never mind. As they see right there, I just got some raw meat. It's a Popo Talk. What am I thinking? Well, I just looked at the icon. Kind of smirk. Raw meat. kind of ironic that I showed off the uh, so tasty during that quest because of the name of that quest being not so tasty. So yeah, worked. Now let us see what to use next. I'm pretty sure I already have something in mind. 
Because, yeah, we've got one big heavy weapon here. So, let us go with probably the most small and mobile weapon. Makes sense to me. Now, I do want a uh, upgraded sword and shield. Ooh, that looks pretty. Great baggy one to sleep. Ooh, that could actually be rather nice. Hmm. Twice crack. There's a Bunbara one. There's also the feline one here. We don't have any of the stuff we need for this, but paralysis is nice. Some hunters um, literally take hours. Yeah, you let's uh forge problem. this. And upgrade into this. There we go. A special quest has been added. Got that. Let's do gathering more. Come again. I need to actually grab a quest. I'm smart. Here's the quest list. Uh, let's let's do this one. Let's go hunt some bugs before we hunt the zombie. Hey, have a seat. We shall eat a meal. Uh, have we seen this one yet? Oh, well, if we haven't, it increases the amount of Kamora points you receive at the end of the quest. I am. Well, sure, medic. Not the worst. Again. This should finish off our uh, our uh, ancient ruins quests. Well, shrine ruins. Ancient ruins. What am I all about? Now, I will note, I have not used a sword and shield yet in this game. So, this may go very badly. But, it's sword and shield. How hard could it be? I mean, I completely whiffed that. But that's not exactly my fault. It's flying. Let's be honest, I don't even need a weapon for this. <laughs> wow, two bodies in a row. That's pretty handy. I was not expecting that. Yeah, let's grab these herbs. Toadstools are very handy for making poison ammo, which is actually not the worst ammo you could make. There are some guns, some bow guns that make really good use out of it, so. Hey, uh, no follow. <laughs> What are these going to be? Oh! Got it. Things I want to be hunting. It's easy to tell where those are because they go away after a few minutes. So actually, let's go to subcamp one here. The fact it's subcamp one tells me there's probably a subcamp two somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I'll probably find it, or I won't. Subcamp 1 here is really the only one that seems remotely helpful, so... Not the biggest loss if I don't find it. Oh, they got so split up. Darn it.
If I attack this one, it's gonna aggress the others. There we go. Sword and Shield is pretty easy, all things considered. Um, I'll use these Roggies over here as a decent example. They're a Jaggy that poisons. See? You have your basic slashing attacks, which are, well, slicing. And you also have, on your alternate attack, blunt hits, where it's just the shield. Hit harder, but not quite as effective. Pull that back out. Or you also have kind of a lunging type style with pushing both buttons together. One of them was poisoned. I'll put this to good use. I'm not gonna get back to three in time to kill them. Sadness. It doesn't take the longest to wait for them. This is gonna be easy. And I do need materials from both, so. If you wanna make the uh Banbara equipment, this is the mission to do. Um, as you might guess, you're going to be getting a fair few, uh, rewards for Bonbaras. Thank you, Snow. Not the best at leading kunai. You basically perform your draw attack again when pushing both buttons. They're, they're attacking cats. Come on, I'd expect that from Snow, but Latte, you too. Melinks can drop items rarely in this game. They used to drop them nearly all the time, but now it's fairly rare. Um, They drop various things along the lines of more first aid meds, more rations, um, basically items you would expect them to have stolen from things because they're thieves. Why would I whetstone? I still have a fair chunk of usable sharpness. Frickin' Suchis. <clears throat> Let's actually see if we can get up to, uh... the stack of them up there. I'm pretty sure we have some great wire bugs that'll take us basically up there. I just need to find them. Pretty sure it's up here. Well, I suppose I haven't placed it here yet. But... Away I go! Now we don't have much higher to climb. Uh, Doing great. Yeah, okay. Should be able to run up this. Oh, my stamina is super low. <laughs> I should ration. This area up here fills me with a minor amount of fear, but that's because of something that we haven't encountered yet. And we won't be encountering for a long time, but I'm not going to spoil it, and I ask that no one else spoil it either for anyone that may not know. This is a fairly nice little place, though. Okay. There 
There we go. I'm making the mistake of aiming at them instead of above them. Oh, that'll be the last one, so I might as well just start gathering. <laughs> Good job, Latte. Wait for the uh, end of quest bit here, and then we shall go and face Lagombe. There's a fair bit of stuff up here. There's the attack up butterfly, which is pretty handy. Mining up crop. Almost all the mining up crops I need. Let's try there was one in one of these. Clearly, I am wrong. Hey, Great Azuchi. I can block. I should try doing some wire bug stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we get some Bonbara and Alaroth stuff. As well as just a bunch of herbs and such, which is nice. It's just a nice... Future me cut that out. <clears throat> As if I need to tell future me how to edit. But yeah, that's just kind of a convenient little quest to... Uh, um, I'm blanking. Get Bombara equipment from... Like, we can now make this. I don't really want to, but we could. Um, I'm honestly pretty happy with this. Anything? No. I'm waiting for something. <laughs> it's obvious I am, because I keep checking that. These away. Also, I should explain, because the game gave these to us, and I didn't use them. These are poison smoke bombs. They work like trank bombs. You throw them on the ground, you, you go poof, and then you, uh, you poison whatever's nearby. Now, can I... Probably not. Oh, I can make a few more of these. I will. Because I want to capture the Gombi. So I'm like that. Um, let's do this. I could do this one again, but we're, I mean, we're not even going to be going to the Shrine Ruins for another quest, so, well, I mean, not for this other quest. I mean, we'll be going back there in the next quest, but not this quest. I realized after I said it that I needed to word that better. Um... Eat a meal. Need this one. Because, well, hey, I got everything. This is just my melee weapon. Set. I actually have to wonder why she takes the hat, the helmet off to eat. It's not covering her mouth. Does the male one cover the mouth? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> that footage is gone. On a frosty mountain range, far from human haunts. An abominable beast does whatever it wants. Is it hair or is it bear? It is neither, so beware. It will drench the snow with blood. 
and we do nothing but destroy them. I know they say it's not a hair, but it's a hair. It's a giant bunny. Giant bunny bear. That actually kind of rhymed. Those cutscenes are, are freaking influencing me. Rubbing off on me. That's what I was going for. I can't speak well. I am getting incredibly tired. If I start blanking a lot, it's because I am really tired. But I need to do this recording, so I'm doing it. I've just been incredibly tired in general lately, so that is really nothing new. As I believe I've explained, that's why I'm doing this as a video series instead of a stream. Because I can edit out when I slip up and my filter comes off. Um, I can't while I'm streaming. As I can't edit streams until they're done. So... Be videos for a while. Which I hope you guys do not mind. I know it's not as interactable and de probably not as fun to watch a video as it is to watch a stream, but this is for my own sanity and not, you know, completely ruining my close to family friendly image I've got. <laughs> I won't try and pretend I'm, I'm like fully family friendly because I'm not. There are times where I will curse. I just try to keep it to general softer curses. So, before YouTube started its uh, kid-friendly bit, I was uh, I, I was perfectly swear-free. So, unless I ever slipped up, because in my regular like everyday talking, I curse a lot, and not because like oh I'm just trying to be edgy. No, I'm just not afraid of cursing. Also, I may as well show what a blight looks like because blight. We can now stun it even with a cutting weapon. We just need to hit it in the head. Which, given its head is way up there. It just left. <laughs> I don't know what all the blights do, but thankfully, little buddy there will actually tell us as we inflict them on monsters. I know what sleep does. Sleep makes your first hit on that monster hit a lot harder. Because your first hit will wake them up. So... What is that extra bar up there? I don't know what the extra bar above my uh, health is. It's not health, I know that. Oh, well that's actually neat, but not very effective. That is much more effective, but holy mother of bug usage. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, the thing I really like about Sword and Shield is how quickly you can put it away. Makes, um, right, right. It makes critical draw, which is a skill that gives you uh, affinity on draw attacks, really effective. The bar has gone down. I don't know what that bar is. I'm so confused. Wait, that was health. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Ow. And there is sleep in action. 
Sadly, though, this isn't exactly the best weapon for sleep. Oh, that uses wire bugs so much. I don't think I like that. Excuse me, sir or ma'am, I would like to sharpen my sword. Thank you. You may hit me now. <laughs> I actually tried. Almost succeeded, too. Oh, hey! The Great Baggy's here. And this is the first instance of Wyvern Riding! We're riding the bunny now, boys! <laughs> There's a lot to this. I'm very basic when it comes to it. I don't actually like being on Legambi or Azeros. They they tend to just get their butts kicked by the other monster. Because a lot of their stuff takes a long time to wind up. This is a very handy way of gathering materials. Amazing! Ram these two into each other. You it off. Nailed it. Cuz Great Baggy is much better to ride on. There's an hip check. Smack. Hip check. <laughs> hip. Come on. Yeah. Smack. Hip check. I'll just do that. And I collect all these materials. Which will be basically a mix of the materials based on what was taking damage. So that was a fair mix there, but normally it'll be most of one thing. Lucky life. There. Yes, it is okay. okay. Hello. Thank you for your twig. Wants to smash. Um, memes. Sick, that to filter myself out. That's something I'll leave it about. It's a meme. Everyone knows that one. Hey, it's tired. I really need to work on its ears. The Gombi's ears are its breakable part. A lot of monsters do have more than a single breakable part. But a lot of these first monsters only really have one. There we go. Hey, it dropped a pelt! Does that make sense? It's roaring. You can't go to sleep again? Hey, I'm blocked! Oh no, you don't! Hey, come here, you get to you too. Have some healing. I need to sharpen again. I don't need to, but I'm going to. Now, my, my personal preference when it comes to monster riding is to always try to make sure I'm riding the monster I'm trying to hunt last. Because, as you saw, the monster you're, that, that uh, you last ride on is kind of tied to the ground and can't run away. The others generally run away, so... No mushrooms for you. Oh, hey. Prime for the capture. Drank bomb. Drank bomb. Shot the trap. Bam. And that's how easy that is. Apologize you get my water bottle there. Throw just kind of dry. 
Now, where these didn't take so long, I will do the urgent quest. Man, if I can keep this up, I'll be through this in no time. But I know I'm not going to be able to. So. We're still in low rank now. And all this nice, neat stuff. So we got three capture awards. Technically, we got four because we got two Lagambi belts. But that's just because the capture award can be two Lagambi belts. No cutscene. Now we may as well check on the Lagambi armor. It's not something I could really recommend, but it could still be useful. Like, it has the two critical eye, which is good. There's affinity sliding, which I want to like, but there's just not always an opportunity to slide. Ice attack at one is pretty irrelevant. And, I mean, constitution isn't bad. I still just prefer the Azuchi armor. More critical eye, same constitution. The extra critical eye will probably matter more than the ice attack. Affinity sliding is just too situational. I mean, this looks like really comfortable armor, which makes me really sad about not liking it. I like its design. Just, you know, it looks really comfy. I'd wear that. I mean, let's be honest, I'd probably wear a few of these armors. Like this one, I'd wear it. I don't care if my thighs are exposed. There's none here I would overly wear yet, but, you know. We'll get to them. Uh, <laughs> and I may someday actually follow through on some of that, but probably not. Nobody wants to see that, honestly. Y you don't. Even if you think you do, you don't. Bring these. Now, I may as well show, because I think... Have we actually encountered one yet? Well, yeah, right here's a, a, a decent example. The Great Baggy Sleep Sack. You can't get it through capturing. But, you can still get them. It's 24% chance on target reward, and 30% chance for breaking parts. That's where we got ours from. Pretty sure we captured the Great Baggy. I don't actually fully remember at this point. This is where I was getting at earlier in an earlier episode, making mention that I personally don't mind capturing because you're not really missing out on anything. Like, sure, you do get three 27% chances of getting a sleep sack while carving, but you're probably spending an extra three to four minutes in that hunt, when the hunt itself, if you capture, is only a little over five minutes. So are you really gaining anything? Technically, you're gaining one twenty-seven percent chance. It's just not worth it. Now, with some weapons, the point where they're at capture is pretty close to ending, like with a hammer. But even then, I'd still say just capture and move on, because now you're not wasting basically a minute waiting for the quest to end. <laughs> well, technically about forty seconds, because ten seconds to carve, ten seconds waiting in the cutscene. Or you could, if you can just maneuver over there, you can carve during the little cutscene. So, 50 to 40 seconds of just waiting around, rather than 20. Now, if you don't like capturing, that, that's on you. Do what you want. It's your game. Play it however you want. But, I like making a case for capturing, because it's just faster. It seems more efficient to me. I'm sure there's some stats nerds out there that would be like, actually, it's not because of such and such. You know, it's down to RNG if you get three items, you know. It's not going to stop me from capturing, though. Here's the quest list. Get Enknos Nom. Good luck. Yeah, I may actually need it, because I don't know how this is going to go. Okay. 
to see. I'm gonna laugh if this is already at like the half hour mark and I'm like, yeah, this hasn't gone long. I am terrible at keeping track of this stuff. A bamboo forest at night. The sound of dancing is heard. Resembling a parasol, but in truth a monstrous bird. Be wary of its figure and its vibrant hue. For once its collar opens, a rain of blood will ensue. Frisk is making a, herself known again. Um, don't know if that could be heard. Yes, a rain of blood apparently. Oh, well, we may as well sub camp. This sub camp is so freaking helpful. Most monsters appear in the top, like, top fourth of the map here. So. Hello, Frisk. I'm kind of busy, girl. And yes, the furnace is on. She's been here for going on like nine months plus, and she is still not used to the furnace. It, it still very clearly bothers her every time it's on. And now she's attacking my bed. Yeah, this is the first monster we've encountered that actually has a roar. Like, the others pretend to roar. They don't actually roar. She is really going at my bed for some reason. Also, breathes fire. Oh, she has one of her cat mice. So she might be causing a bit of a ruckus in the background. I, I do apologize for that. She's a cat. It's just what she does. Okay, now to actually fight you. <laughs> I will probably be uh, hunting this thing again at some point just to get some bits from it that I will probably not get from this because uh, they come from breaking parts that I'm honestly not confident in my ability to break. Say that there is one. Uh, yeah, that is what it's like when a monster actually can roar. You get stunned. It's a very stunning affair. I apologize for that one. Uh, now, at least I got to sharpen. This is another nice change. Um, if you've done the amount of sharpens you should have to do. To sharpen your weapon, it'll be sharpened. You don't, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter if you get interrupted during the looking at your weapon. Which I know probably annoys some veterans. I'm also kind of, uh, in a way, looking forward to having some veterans get at me for how I'm playing, so... Hey, the crest broke. I wasn't even hitting that. There it goes. Though, I suppose, it'll honestly come down to if the, uh, Monster Hunter world, uh, community moves over to Rise, which may not happen until the PC release. Um, as I'm sure a fair few people in the Monster Hunter community could attest to, a lot of the people that were uh, making themselves known to the conversations during the era of World were fairly toxic. Um... Oh, 
Like, they, they, they didn't exactly give Monster Hunter players a good name. I'm gonna sharpen him. Oh, I didn't sharpen him in the first place. I thought I'd already sharpened. I was like, ah, oh, I'm wasting sharpness here, but nah. There we go. There's a ration and a secret stash. So yeah, sometimes I can just give regular rations too. I know Sam's getting pretty angry. Oh, that does better if I can actually hit the monster. Okay. That's pretty neat, actually. That does so much damage, but good lord, the wirebug usage. Ooh. Okay. The sharpened. I want this bug. Yeah, little guy, little guy. I love how they've actually given a use to the uh, the beetles, little dung beetles. Because they these are a thing from World. Um, only in World, they uh, more or less they just kind of existed to be captured in your capture net. That, that's all they really existed for. You didn't really get anything for them. They just existed. I'm probably going to be making a lot of comparisons to World, because this is the most comparable game to World. World being one of the biggest, in my opinion, step forwards in the game here in in this game's history. Um, that being just making the controls less janky. Um, like even this, this is running on what I would call World controls, not free World controls, which is good. Um, once again, that's a thing where I know there are some veterans who would disagree with me. They are, they are welcome to, but you're objectively wrong if you think that, uh, oh, no, these controls are worse than the original. Because, here's, here's the thing. And I, I say this as somebody who adapts to janky controls easily likes the old Monster Hunter games, and likes their controls. Like, once I got used to them, it was great. But I know so many people that picked up one of the older Monster Hunter games and just quit because the controls were so jank. And it just felt bad at times. Like, going back and using, say, three ultimates, Switch Axe, or Generations, Switch Axe, compared to World, the weapon is so much more clumsy than it is in World. In World, it's cl it's a clumsy weapon. Don't get me wrong. It is a clumsy, heavy weapon, and it will be here, and you guys will see that in time. But in the older games, it's a whole new level of clumsy and jank, to the point where... It feels like a completely different weapon. Just because of how different and janky it is. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys even heard me saying out there. Because my voice kind of just gave up. I should tell you how long I've been recording. Anyone that's watched my streams. It's been over two hours. <laughs> <laughs> My voice tends to only be good for a couple hours while I'm streaming and such. Yeah, I'm trying to. I 
Well, it ain't it. Ow. I was just trying to carve up a thing that you probably didn't like. You could have let me do it. It would have been nice. Actually, gonna ration. Yeah, there's the uh, brew hair running off. Hey, I broke the tail. That was one of the things I was worried about breaking. Or not getting to break. Now, there's only, I think, one more part left I can break. Two more parts. The wings. I thought they were in. I, I forgot they were individualized. Ow. I should really be blocking more. That's on me. I can block. I should be blocking. There goes the other wing. Yeah, there is every part of this thing broken now. Yeah, there's my weapon being deflected. It got away. That's kind of the thing with sword and shield. You are going to go through your sharpness very quickly. And, well... It's quick to deflect. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna wait for you guys. Yes, no, we're eating bug tonight, girl. She ready to chomp. She ready to chomp. <laughs> Bam. I'll put this to good use. I know leaving it like this is giving it a chance to heal up a little, but eh. I'm not worried. Aside from that near death experience, this has been going actually remarkably well. There's snow getting healed up. Surprised the Azeros hasn't made itself known yet. I'm gonna grab these trap bugs. Let's try using them a little. Do I have a... Yeah, I do. I have the Thunder Beetle. I forgot I had grabbed it. So why am I gassy? I legitimately waited to eat until after streaming so I wouldn't be gassy. And I'm gassy. I'm just a gassy person. I just need to accept that. Anyone that's been on my streams knows I'm just gassy. Zapped. No little bugs. Oh, they got consumed by the one hit. D Latte! It's sleeping! Leave it alone! Hey! Can be captured. That one missed. Oh no, you don't. It flew off. So I'm gonna need to use three trank bombs this time. Possibly four, if I don't get to it in time. Trank bombs wear off over time, so I'll probably just use two of them just to play it safe. I know I don't really have the materials to replace them, but I just want to play it safe. I don't want to end up wasting the trap, because traps are more valuable. At the moment, I'd actually have to argue the trank bombs are more valuable, but. I only need two to capture something, so, and I'll have two. I'll have four, actually. Plus, I think I have two in storage, so. There's that one complete. BAM! 
Uh, if that was a pitfall trap, I would have been interrupted from placing it. And it wouldn't have got placed. And pitfall traps also take a minute to actually activate. Not an actual minute, but they take around 5-10 seconds to actually activate. I don't even think it's that long. But it's long enough to feel like that. Really sucks. I hate pitfall traps. <laughs> I will use one at some point just to show you guys what they're like. And yeah, this has definitely gone well over what I had planned. Get stuff. For a second, I thought Frisk was attacking my curtain. She likes doing that when she's mad, and she was mad because the furnace was on, so. Yeah. Ah, back already! Good, good going hunting the Angnasaw. I'm probably saying that name wrong. I don't really care, you guys know what I mean. So I'm problem down, we got another one of the Shrine Ruins. The villagers say, are all spooked saying there's ghosts there. Yeah. Keeping an eye on things for now, but I may call for you later if something comes up. Time being, go see Hanoa to take down, uh, taking down the Angnasaw. I'm opening up three star quests for you. Come on, a fine Kimura Hunter, Squirt. Now, there is a lot of people that want to talk with us. I am just going to be ending things off here because my throat is killing me. It's been so freaking... You know, no, we'll check out Agnostom's armor first. Because, well, we can. I've been doing that. We can now make Bonbara armor, which is what I was actually kind of waiting for. Because, as you may notice, this has a new skill we haven't seen yet. Recoil down. Uh, there we go. It reduces the recoil of bow guns, which is really handy. Paralysis attack. Not as handy, but if you have a paralysis weapon, that's pretty good. Evade window. Basically gives you a bigger window to evade. And I mean, look at this armor. This is freaking dapper as hell. I love it. I would legitimately wear that. Skirt and all. I don't care. You get Egnosnom. Which, if you have a fire weapon... This could actually be rather nice. Fire attack plus 5% plus an extra 4. That could be a decent little chunk of extra fire elemental damage. Quick sheath. Does what it says. Recovery speed we've seen. Like this is a decent armor set if you're using a fire weapon. If you're not, it just looks cool. And I mean, it does look pretty cool. Um... Using the sword and shield, it would kind of bother me having the second little sword there, because I'd be expecting that to be my weapon. Because that's where you should carry a sword, not there, but, you know. That is a little... No, no, that could still be on the waist and still not drag on the ground. Still, though, Azuchi armor is probably still the way to go. Um, but, yeah. With all that said, thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you next time as we deal with all of these people that want to talk with us. See you all then.